Hey folks, here we have this really cool little thing called the Stay Connected, Stay Connected Social Networking Icons. A little bit of a new feature um, for those folks who have a lot of social icons um, and uh, honestly not a bad thing to have these days. You, if you have more social signals online, you're going to have hopefully a better chance of getting ranked better or rank well in your search results such as Google. The reason being is uh, the more social profiles you have, at least as of what 2015 December or so, um, that's one of the metrics that Google seems to be using. I'm not an expert in this, I'm just what from what I've read online through Google itself, uh, like the more noise you hear in social media, the search engines think they're, you know, that might have an impact on on how popular that website or that web page is. So and it certainly doesn't hurt. So how do we update this? Right? Basically what we have here is we have a font awesome icon, we have a sort of a heading and a a bit of a small social media blurb or saying, but literally we have a link to your 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 page right here which you just have to update. And the other things you would obviously need to do is, is remove ones you don't have or maybe you want to add more. So hopping right in here, we're going to go into our library and our components and our, oh, where did it go now? Carousels and social. There it is right there. We're going to open that up. Right. And like other owl carousels that you we have on the site, everything is wrapped in a slide or well, they're wrapped in an item class but we sort of comment them as a slide because it's kind of like slides from one direction to the other, right? And if we go into the design view, you're not really going to see a whole heck of a lot except for we do have a bit of a Facebook, Friends Us Now. It does tell you what sort of area uh, or icon is being used, but you can't see it because we need to uh, go into the uh, code view because Font Awesome doesn't show up in our web pages. So we need to go into the code view um, and you need to just find, like it says Pinterest, pin it on us, and right up here, that's the link that you would use. That's your Pinterest account link. So obviously you're going to have to modify this a little bit. I think with Pinterest it's going to be slash and then it would be like i3d themes. Whatever your account name is, you'd actually actually, actually have to copy that from you know, Pinterest itself or pull up your landing page or whatever it is you want to point to. Uh, copy the link from the web browser right in here. But that's where the link to your uh, your social media page goes, whatever that link happens to look like. If you want to, then you can also change the actual icon. You'd have to go to Font Awesome and go to the branding section. So look for icons on Font, the Font Awesome website. You can Google it um, and scroll down to the branding section. And then as new social media icons are added, you can find them there. And then you can just sort of copy and paste it in here, right? And then change the H4 and the P tag right there. Now, if you want to add more, add as many as you want. Just simply clap copy the entire slide, right, paste, paste, paste there. I just added three, then all I would need to do is change the uh, the account page that I want to link to. I'd need to change my uh, icon, and I need to change the H4 and the uh, and the paragraph tag right there. So, and that's really all there is to it. Getting rid of them, even easier. Copy the entire slide and get rid of it. So if I didn't want LinkedIn, and I wasn't going to replace it with something else. I just grab it, copy it, cut it. That's all there is to it. There's my Vimeo. Don't have a Vimeo account. Grab it, cut it. Done. 